Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about the sandbox sand. Um, last video we were also in this yellow target area that was on the 21st of March. We talked about that this could be here a potential bull flag and that we could touch once more this lower support of that bull flag and that exactly happened. So if we go to the four hour chart, you can see um, obviously, we had the bull flag on the chart here. We touched it once more and then started to move up out of this uh, bull flag. And this could now be the start of something great because what is currently happening? Well, you can clearly see here, depending on how you want to draw it, different ways possible. But let's say we draw it like that. Um, and I think that is a valid way of doing it. You broke out of that bull flag with a large green candle. We are now retesting formal resistance as support. And if we now start and see some increasing volume, and I think we have seen here some increased volume, but I'd like to see a little bit more. Then we can really start to move up in the next step, move above the 200 day moving average. That is, is that the 200 day? Let me just check. Really? Let me just double check. Yeah, it's the 200 day moving average. Okay. Coming up here, we would move above that one. And that is currently located at around 326, 327 providing resistance at the moment. As soon as you break that as well, I think we can get all the way up to the top of that uh, target area. That was the target area for this potential wave two, because in the end, what we are seeing here after the low was in here in the target area, um, and I think the low was in already for the sandbox, there are good opportunities, good, good probabilities for that, um, that we've seen here our wave one, we've now seen our wave two, yeah, and we talked about that, this target, and we're still in the target area, yeah. Um, and I think Sandbox now could start to move to the next wave up, which would be the wave three. Yeah, so looking at that here currently within this here, what we could have formed, um, I mean, this here was only a three wave move, came down. So this could really maybe be here that first wave now that's coming up <clears throat> and uh, could really start to break out of this and start to move out of this target area. Absolutely, we've got a bullish flag, but to do that, it needs to hold above 321 in order to really stay above this bullish flag. If it breaks back into this, then what do we have? We just have basically a fake out. Personally, I would um, like to see a break above the 200 day moving average as confirmation, which is at 326 and above the previous rejection point here, the previous high at 344. And then I think the price can move, of course, not in a straight line, but I think it can move all the way into this area uh, between $6.30 and $7.20. That so far is looking really good here for the sandbox. However, the risk, because we are so low in a potential uptrend, the risk for lower prices is still very, very realistic. And uh, this potential uptrending scenario remains valid until the price breaks below $2.58. That is that low here from uh, end of January. If we move below that, this whole uptrending scenario gets fully invalidated. And then we can expect prices of around $2.30 all the way down to $1.50. Yeah, but from here, there is now a good chance the price could move quite strongly higher, okay? Um, various resistances here along the way, um, in my opinion, as I said here, that especially that previous rejection point at $3 and yeah, 46, 45, um, very close. And then we've got the next FIP level, the 61.8% FIP level at 362. Then we've got the next FIP level at 455. And that is also very close to that previous wave high here. That of course we need to break as well in order to move higher. Then we face the 548. 0.38250, uh, 0.382 Fibonacci level. Yeah, so $5.48. And then we can finally reach that target area. So you can see that will not happen in a straight line. You will also get your five wave move up. Um, but again, the risk for further downside is still very, very likely. Um, you know, this was my target area. This was the area where I said the correction could be finished with a high probability. So far, we've seen significant upside. We've seen a higher low, all looking good. But now it's time for the price to start to really move up from here yeah, in order to uh, really get going. Otherwise, um, there's a big risk the market will roll over. So we're really at a decision point now. But as soon as we see the price exit this target area above 
three dollars and yeah 45 i think we have a confirmed breakout um looking at the indicators i think we can certainly say that there is much more upside uh, back in the daily here uh, in the in the in the bullish range on the daily rsi um the macd currently picking up buying momentum again that is definitely a positive signal you can see that here very meaningful chart is always the four day chart we don't yet have a bullish crossover here but if you get that because just imagine the or just look at that the four day macd line was never as low as it was here or is at the moment so we start from a very low point of view and very low uh, level so you can really expect some significant upside if we get a bullish cross over here and also the other indicators are going to add up um, so for example what i would be looking out for here on the four day chart is a bullish cross over on the macd for example what i would want to see as well is um, upside on the rsi and then what i also like to see is here the um, momentum indicator here the adx the average direction index that can also give you a oops that was the wrong one what i'm looking out for is the adx and di um, that gives you a uh, momentum indication and at the moment this is still showing a short signal on the four day chart so the red line is above the green one but as soon as you see this cross bullish here on the four day as well that will be very very interesting and you're already seeing this potentially now cross on the day on the two day chart which is also an important chart and also here we already saw the bullish crossover on the macd so generally the chart is starting to look interesting for the sandbox um, and we are pretty much now at a at a low at a dip where um yeah it might be an opportunity before we start to move up here in the wave uh, three but if you buy that's entirely up to your decision um that's how i currently see the market i think there are good opportunities for further increasing prices especially as we're just breaking breaking out of a bull flag uh, bear in mind there is not really increasing volume yet but also because we have broken that descending trend line all right that is my view here on sand hopefully you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.